Copilot Pull Request Summaries is an AI-powered feature that allows you to create a summary of the changes that were made in a pull request, which files they impact, and what a reviewer should focus on when they conduct their review. Let's dive into that. Hey y'all, I'm Mickey Gousset. Now real quick, before we dive into today's topic, it would really help me out if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel, so maybe the YouTube algorithm will throw me in front of some more people. Okay, let's get back to the topic at hand. Copilot Pull Request Summaries is an AI-powered feature that allows you to create a summary of the changes that were made in a pull request. Now this feature is part of Copilot Enterprise. When a user requests a summary, Copilot scans through the pull request and provides an overview of the changes. Now the goal of Copilot pull request summaries is to help optimize an author's ability to quickly provide context when they request a re human review that requires sharing what was changed. It may help increase developer productivity by reducing the time it takes to open a pull request. For many users, it could provide more helpful context for the changes that were made within a pull request than would normally be available. Now, the idea behind this feature is not to replace what a human might write, but to supplement it. You definitely need to read what Copilot creates for you and make the appropriate modifications to ensure accuracy. All right, let's take a look at this in action. Here we go. Okay. So the first thing we need, if we're going to show you how Copilot can create pull request summaries, are some changes so that we can create a pull request. So I'm going to come up here and flip over to this testing PRs branch where I've already made some changes. You can see it's four commits ahead. And if I click those four commits, then you'll see I have the following four changes that have been made. And if I scroll down, I can see the files that I've modified. And I could look at this and try to kind of understand maybe what's been changed in between these. In this case, I can see content stuff, etc. So I've got some changes there. So if we go over to pull requests and we say create a new pull request, I want to create a pull request between my testing PRs branch and my base branch. We can see it picked up the commits. Again, you could scroll down and see the file changes. And I'm going to click Create Pull Request. Now here is where I would probably say Modified Files in the repo. And then maybe if I'm feeling, you know, incredibly generous, I might come down in here and say, you know, Modify the README modified some code. But let's see what Copilot might tell me. So if you're using Copilot Enterprise, then you're going to have this little Copilot button here. And if you click that Copilot button, you'll see that it can generate a summary of the changes in this pull request. So let's click that. Now, this is going to take a few seconds, right? Depending on the number of changes that, that you have in the pull request, how many changes there are because it's taking the files, analyzing the files, and then going to come back and give us this summary. So while it's not quite as fast as when you just put a comment in your code, it still gives you a whole bunch of information. So let's actually widen this down a little bit and do a preview here. And you can see that the pull request changes improve the clarity of the documentation, test descriptions, modifications to the README, to the Haiku test JS, to the process.json. And then it tells you what the documentation changes in the README. It tells you Haiku source, the what we've done to the tests, the updates that we've made to the tests, and also the update that we've made to the process.json. Look at that. All right, so let's actually make this a real pull request. So let's click Create Pull Request. And there you go. I now have a pull request. Look at this. I've got links to 
the actual commits to the lines that, that it's referencing. So if when we look at the message and it, it talks about the changes that have been made, it's actually linking me to those changes in the in the pull request. And that is a lot more information than I probably would have typed by myself. Now, to do my due diligence, I do need to make sure I read this whole thing. If it's not accurate or there's extra information I want to provide, I need to provide that information. But I love this because it gives me a lot more detail than honestly I probably would have typed myself. So there you go. Copilot pull request summaries. If you're using Copilot Enterprise, check it out. To wrap up, Copilot pull request summaries, a feature of Copilot Enterprise, leverages AI to provide context for changes in a pull request. By scanning the PR and generating an overview, Copilot assists authors in sharing relevant information with reviewers. While it doesn't replace human input, it serves as a helpful supplement. Let me know what you think. Do you find it helpful? Is this something you would use? Leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.